Hello and welcome back to the Council of Me Barter. Right, so let's see where we are. Alright, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. Place where all eyes size you up. Okay, let's hold space and start the quest. Is it going to be somewhere in here? Obviously it would be a lot easier if we hadn't screwed up the thing, but we did. We can have a chat with you though. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, this sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in <laughs> my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But. I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. Not really. To tell you the truth, not really. You are right. Be positive. Yeah, Perhaps be positive. Sarah is in the company of Lord Mortimer and they will both turn up shortly. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe. But while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Well, go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? Yeah, let's ask him this one. If I said to you, were all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis. But it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library. Continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. Perfect. You'll see it, Louis. When you get there, you'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. I want to have what we're looking here before we go towards the portrait gallery. A swine in a salon. That's an odd choice of decor. <laughs> certainly is. This painting has caused some debate. Who did Dosi paint? Alcina the fairy or Circe the magician? Maybe both. What's up with the butterflies? Hey butterflies, what's up with you? Circe turning Ulysses' companions back into humans. Hey. Wait, turning whose companions? Circe turning Ulysses' companions okay. back into humans. Get over to that one then. Have to go around here. Okay. Ulysses and Circe at the table. If I were you, Ulysses, I wouldn't drink the wine. <laughs> Very true. Must be the portrait gallery. 
maybe. Let's hope one at the TV mini arrives. Okay, so that one's not one we can look at. The conversion right. of Ulysses by Gorks. Circe changing Ulysses' companions into swines. Yeah. Okay, we can't get to that one yet. We can't go over there though. There's something that isn't a painting that we can check. Discourse on the Method by Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. Cool. Circe preparing wine. What better trap for Ulysses? Romney painted Lady Hamilton as Circe. Okay, I think that's just done then there. There are some other we already did that one, didn't we? But there are some other paintings over there. Seeing just any secrets. There probably are secrets. But it doesn't mean that I'm gonna find them. It doesn't mean that they're where I'm looking either. There's a nice harp. She's the national symbol of Ireland. If you ever see Irish coins and stuff, we've got the harps on the back of it. And also the the actual flag of Ireland has a harp on it. It's just that Ireland is, is separated into two countries. The so devil's thorn no one ever sees to be it. used to uncover the best disguised traits. Cool. Doing this. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Okay, that's nice. So... We don't have the key. So the key must be... Okay, so it's obviously possible to find the key. Okay. Seriously. That was short. Short and sweet. Dining on ham. Well, that's very appetizing. <laughs> yeah, especially when you've seen all the other pictures. And you know that Circe turned Missy's crew into pigs. Okay, that's the key. Can't believe that. That might be the way that we're supposed to go. But less reticent though to go somewhere and then it not be. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. That's nice. Okay, it's a different key that we got. Okay. I don't know where find the keys for those ones. Wow, this is the library then. <laughs> oh, there's one around. Golden elixir. Okay, nice. Expressly forbade me from reading it. Yeah, good reason. Not sure what the reason was, but it was good. Okay, okay more royal jelly. What's in the middle? Wow, that is crazy. Hmm. So 
just looking at the way it has A, B, C, D, a lot of older libraries wouldn't have it like that. Like if you go to the library in Trinity College in Dublin and stuff, because they like they they wouldn't have used like A B C D E. They did use most of them, but a few pages out of I can't remember what it is, but they're definitely not not as you'd expect it in kind of a modern place. So we work there. So I guess we came around that way, and we go this way for a window. Oh, oh, this is the party camp. This last supper. So you're not all eyes you size you up. Was that Chances the are, that's the room my mother spoke of. Yeah. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? Maybe. Allegory regarding the decoration of the rights of men. That's the least you could say. Okay. Liberty or Death by Regnaud. Well, I'll take liberty, please. <laughs> but well, I do understand his choice, even though it seems radical. Ah, a painting by Ingres. Molière dining with Louis XIV. The king's posture is surprising. It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. Maybe he is. I just have a look at the paintings first before. Excelia. That name means nothing to me. Maybe she's the Medusa. To stay there, we might have gotten more of the view. Let's go look at the last summer. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. Okay. Let's take some stuff in here. Okay. In here. Uh, there's a lot of kind of edges that you get caught on, it seems. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe V. I wonder why Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. It's really weird how he's talking so obviously American English, but then like he's saying that one little bit in French. I suppose um, no. if the whole game is in French, or we speaking. French the whole game, I'd be screwed in. <laughs> Amber crystals. Okay. The Let's company by Rembrandt. Okay. Let's go over here. The Fall of Phaeton. Another painting by Rubens. Poor Phaeton. Struck by lightning by his father Apollo for borrowing his chariot and losing control of it. Moral, 
don't steal Dad's chariot. Who's here? A fragment of amber. The song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Ah, François Premier, Receiving the Holy Family, a painting by Raphael. Christ Crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Yeah. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Hmm, interesting. I go outside. It's hard the way the camera keeps jumping like that to actually keep an eye out for things that I'm a bit interact with. Let's see over here. Okay, okay. Right, so that's all of the pictures, isn't it? Yeah, we're only doing that one. So now it's just a case of trying to find something to interact with. But it could be that where we sat down. Maybe if we leave it long enough, we'll actually spot the Medusa. Because you could be in one of the top paintings that we haven't that we haven't checked out yet. I'm looking for oh this stuff over here, maybe it's in there. We're looking for one the picture I remember. Oh, the Medusa, it's, um, oh, what's his name, that, that kills her, but he has a shield and he's using it. He basically uses that to turn her to stone. Maybe, okay, so you're a Spartan, maybe? Ah, here's the Medusa here. Yeah, I okay, we'll come see you in a second. Don't touch the phone, please. I've got to find out what mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. What did you a hero do? armed with a sword? Yeah. Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Okay, Let's so she... give them a helping hand. She turned the thing, so... The lantern should shine... onto the shield. Let's check this out first. The origin of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. The text is in French on the left hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Okay. So, the guy with the lantern is over here. You need to
You need to point at the shield. Where's the hero for me the shield? Okay. Then the guy with the shield. You. So right now it's towards the Medusa. So towards the hero holding the sword. Okay. And then the last guy. So they should provide a distraction for her to look towards the light. Then he's supposed to. This guy is supposed to brandish his sword towards the Medusa. Okay. So he's shining his torch. Okay, so let's try turning you towards the back of the lantern. Okay. Okay, so towards the back of the sword, and then we'll rotate her towards you. Do you know the legend? Okay, there we go. Okay, what's making that noise? Oh, is the back of the fire? Oh, the whole fireplace is there. Okay, beautiful. Are we going to meet Mother? Possibly. Or, um... Wah! For Pete's sake, Emily! <laughs> you scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business, then. I don't know what you're talking about. First my room, now here. Stop following me, you're becoming a nuisance. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you... You're not implying that I'm here to court you. Are you? Oh, Louie, I'm just stating the obvious. Yeah. You wouldn't be the first, rest assured. Yeah, this is embarrassing. The worst thing is that it seems to be working. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. That's... I know that she's probably going to turn out to be one of the villains, but I'll answer her frankly. I've discovered a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret room. Something must have attracted her here, so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? My, you're curious. Let me guess. Go on then, impress me. Let's go for this. You're spying on Mortimer, right? Everyone is spying on Mortimer. Shall I take that for a yes? Take it as you please. But I wouldn't be surprised if all the guests were around here somewhere searching the manor. <laughs> well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. But okay. if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah, in your dreams. At your service, madam. What? What do you mean, in your dreams? So you don't want to cooperate. I want to cooperate, but he doesn't. A golden fleece. Okay. It's freezing. Hurry up. Okay. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. 
Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. How did the English manage to get their hands on them? When someone wants to attract the attention of the world's leading power, somehow the gifts just pour in. You wouldn't have gone to the Vatican recently, would you? Are you calling me a thief? <laughs> Certainly not. Never entered my mind. Okay. Let's get the next one. Okay, over here. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. You never know his passion for art. Anything else to find? Oh, there is just something there. Okay, let's check out this urn. Heavenly symbols refer to Pandora's box. Oh, Emily, well. I'm pretty sure I've got Pandora's box. Of course you have. You see an earthen pot and you immediately assume it can only be Pandora's box. Logical. What I like about you, Louis, is that you never fail to surprise <laughs> me. Let's examine the symbols. Oh, sorry, sorry, me. The heavenly symbols refer to Pandora's box. Emily, I'm I pretty sure I've got Pandora's box. Of course you have. You see an earthen pot and you immediately assume it can only be yeah, Pandora's look, I opened box. That and we got trapped in Logical. Time what I like about you, Louis, is that you never fail to surprise me. Let's open the jar. Emily, what if I open the jar? Would that then make man responsible for all the evils? Try. It'll make a change. <laughs> All right, can we move on now? I do love your irony, but honestly, are you ever impressed by anything you see? By a chamber pot? No, you really do need to do better than that. <laughs> Fearless. There's something down the very end. Maybe there isn't. Maybe we examine the fleece again, or is that up? Yeah, the opportunity is gone, isn't it? But she said to check on our side, but she's doing nothing over here, so let's start checking over here. <laughs> I found an amazing <laughs> ring, and there's an inscription engraved on it. Yeah, let's be a dick. Emily, when I see that ring, I can no longer hold back my feelings for you. Oh, stop it. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> what do you mean? I was just about to get down on one knee. Okay, she seems blocking us so we have to go all the way around. Hey, David. Or is that David or is that the thinker? Well, if you're the thinker, sorry for calling you David. Caesar's Guess what I found? Crown? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's Laurel Reef. Yeah. I can just see Mortimer dressed in a toga, wearing a laurel wreath, strutting around his manor all day long. You have a curious idea of Mortimer. Why? He's eccentric, like all the English are, isn't he? Well, if Peru stands for French grace, then if I were you, I wouldn't be making that sort of remark. <laughs> this is supposed to be Excalibur. You should see this sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. Uh, 
Okay, Mr. Sister. This Sister. weapon is typically French, quite old. Okay, so this undoubtedly genre. goes back to the Crusades. If it is a true Damask sword, it's worth more than a kingdom. It really does look like Joan of Arc's sword. The famous Maid of Orléans. One of your favorite historical heroines. You bet. Given the number of English butts she kicked. And we all know where that got her. <laughs> when you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? What are you doing? You're just looking at the one piece of paper the whole time. That's something over here. Whoa, this... That's almost certainly what we're looking for. Okay. We'll come back to that. Amber. Thank you. A fragment of amber. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old. And all signed by the hand of Mortimer. What? I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Maybe he's a vampire. Several people have played the part of Mortimer, a part that has been passed down from generation to generation. Different men, but with one sole identity. An intriguing hypothesis, and yet less twisted than some of my previous cases. <laughs> At last, you finally agree with me about something. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? No, just a bit of paper I don't know. She here. was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? How did Lord Mortimer get all this? It's just crazy. Secret connections, money, or a well-kept family treasure passed on from generation to generation. Who knows? That would mean some of Mortimer's ancestors lived before Jesus was born. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Yeah, go maybe you'll we'll find something. Yeah, maybe you'll find a piece of paper sticking out over there. What's this? What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. I can't trust a man who sneaks into my room in the middle of the night. <laughs> Are you really going to use that against me every time we meet? It's difficult to pretend nothing happened. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, okay. Louis? What do these do again? Is it two? No. Which one is it that... Ah, this one. Okay. That's locked, okay. Yeah, let's try this, because I don't want any harm to come to you. When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want? What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit okay. you are fairly reliable. That's okay. it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. <laughs> but I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Good. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. 
Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help. Just like everyone, you have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Yes. Uh, psychology. Okay, let's try this. This is a bit of a dickish move, though. But he is a he is a bit of a dick. So pragmatic, intelligent, sure of herself. Her only weak spot is her difficulty talking about herself. I don't know much about your past, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own for much of your life. It might have closed you off, and that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, you may be right. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, Captain. Let's try this. Oh, it's crystal clear. You don't like people telling you what to do, and you do like giving the orders to everyone. If I were the matron you speak of, I would have found an That's underling to search this place, and I would be sound asleep <laughs> in my bed. I already have a work partner. Okay. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me, but I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Okay. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? No, I've already said too much. Consider yourself she, anyway. lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, let's since see, no then. one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Yeah, let's try this. Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Yeah. Oh. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. So Clever. which one are you? But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from home, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Okay. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. How do we know you're it's time Emily and not Emma? No, it can't be time to leave. There's a, there was a bit of paper sticking out. Can I go back there? I want to go back there. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here.
So does that mean we just missed that bit? We can't do it again. So. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. <laughs> Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please don't leave me alone. Let's I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Where are you waiting in my room? I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. <laughs> Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. It looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? You need to follow Elizabeth. Sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. Well, Elizabeth, what was so urgent? For God's sakes, what happened in here? Oh, God. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. All right. What have you got on your mind now? You've got to listen to what I have to say while there's still time. Listen you to need to anyone. know the truth about He's your mother. Dick. About my mother? What do you mean? I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognized my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you it was her. Okay, done. Lucky because I was hesitate on her. I was annoyed at him. She's not trembling. She's really convinced of what she's seen. Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I I didn't make any noise, and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her, Sir Holm, Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here! I'm telling you, it was her! Yes, I need something to calm me down. Just one glass. I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? We're gonna end up drunk. And then Emily's gonna be pissed off at us. I don't know where she life. gets her rot cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. We're gonna pass it. You know, Louis, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. Whoa. The alcohol's <sighs> gone to my head. It's not the alcohol. Here, the condemned's last drink. Elizabeth, alcohol never solves anything. I'm going to stop now. Listen up. You want to know what your mother was capable of, right? You want to know the reason why? Well, you're going to have to follow me to the bottom of the abyss, Louie. Either drink or get out. Well, pretty sure it's drug, but... I think he'd drink anyway just for his mother. Man, I I need to take it easy with the booze. At this rate, I won't last the night. Let's go easy on the drinking, okay? Alcohol won't solve our problems. You're gonna have to drink another one. Ugh. The second one isn't any easier. So, do you want to know why she did all those things to me? Or of course. not? Even if it changes the image you have of her yes. forever? What was she trying to cure you of then? Of the one illness she never managed to treat me for. Okay. That dagger looks a bit dangerous. Come on, Elizabeth. We have to finish what we started. Intoxicate you. 
Use four consumable items during a synth quest or consumed an noxious element. Dialogue timer is no longer visible. Use a golden elixir to cure yourself. Okay. So which one is the I golden feel elixir? Dizzy. There must have been a reason. Just tell me. Tell me what my mother treated you for. She wanted to silence them. What? What are you talking about? Silence elixir? what? The voices. The Maybe voices in my head. They speak to me, Louis. They've always you told me what, what to do. Is? They say nasty things to me. Oh no, that's not it. Okay. Are you possessed? Elizabeth, are are you saying that that spirits talk to Which you? Which one is the You're right. Sometimes there are several voices. How did you know? Okay, there's that. No, listen, I I don't know anything. I I'm just repeating what you said. They want me. Want me just for themselves. They talk to me all the time. Yet your mother did everything to make them go away. Ever since I was little. And look at the result. It's impossible, mother. You spent your life trying to prove that the supernatural doesn't exist. Why punish this poor girl? Oh, shit. What has she done to you? Uh-oh, Louie. Are you starting to believe me? Yes, of no, but too bad it's we are for nothing. Shook you, Louis. They're still there, you know. What do you mean? They're still talking to you? All the time. Despite everything Sarah put me through, I still hear them. And here I am on a lost island, knowing that no one knows me. And I find myself here at the exact same time as her. You see? You understand? You sense it too. Is that moth from I'm going to die here. Science of the Lambs? I beg you, tell me you believe me. Of course I believe. He doesn't, but I do. I'm here, Elizabeth. I'm right here with you. And I do believe you. Thank you, Louie. You know, despite what people might think, I'm not crazy. You're going to be dead soon, though. He didn't even take any of that. My God, job. Elizabeth, how is this possible? Welcome to my world, little Louie. Welcome to my life. Advise her to escape from the island. Advise her to stay here. I think... I think if she escaped... She'd be better off, but I think if she tries to escape, she's, something's going to happen to her. But I also think that even if she stays here, something's going to happen to her. So I think it's a case of how does she die. So I'm going to advise her to stay here. Let's not rush into things. You have nothing to fear here. I'm with you. And anyway, my mother's gone missing. You're not in any danger. That's not what the voices say. Listen to me. Don't give up. You must resist. And tomorrow, you'll see. No, Things you won't. will be better. <laughs> You'll be dead tomorrow. You like my little concoction, don't you? That's rare. What? It no longer has any effect on me. But my guests generally don't appreciate me mixing alcohol with laudanum. What? You put laudanum in my drink? In both. Don't worry, my little Louie. We'll sink down to the bottom together. No, we won't, because I took the thing oh, that man. cured me. I feel like puking. I really feel like shit. Ugh. No, you don't. Look, I you gotta don't have a status get back. Don't worry, Louie. I'm here now. I'll take good care of you. <sighs> what is this bitch gonna do to me? Don't touch me! Just leave. If I get up, I'll fall. Okay, so we wasted that thing then. Curing yourselves. Oh, little Louis tired. Leave everything to me. Oh, nice. What are you gonna be missing in the morning, eh, Louis? <laughs> May I come in? Uh oh. Ah, uh, 
my head. I shouldn't have drunk so much. She's dead, watch. How oh, we're gonna get blamed. Yeah. She looks pretty dead, doesn't she? Hey, yeah, I can kill her. <laughs> Elizabeth! No, it wasn't me. Okay, I solved the enigma of the Medusa. Okay, I discovered Lord Mortimer's room where he hides his treasure. I found out that Emily was hiding something. I was said Emily to tell me her secret. I accepted to keep Elizabeth company. I had a few drinks with Elizabeth. Failed, okay. I could have joined Emily in her room. I don't know why we failed that though. What did we do? That we failed. Sure. Well, let's move on anyway. And I don't get why. Uh, let's go on to the next one. I don't get why she suddenly came to us and said, "Oh, you have to come talk to me." Because the last time we saw her, like we we botched it up, and she basically told us to get lost. Okay, so let's get that. Linguistics could be good. We have three more points, so we can get the pump which lights up, and then we could get linguistics, and then that's conviction. Let's get linguistics, and then uh, we can't actually pump which lights up. So, next, let's see, one more point. Subterfuge. So we put a point in conviction, then next get that, and then go for subterfuge afterwards. That's possible. Okay, so let's see that. And then let's uh, validate those. Okay, and then. Um, that's just done for the first chapter, I guess, so... <laughs> okay, nice ending. Okay, so... Is there a way... There, there must be a way, these games, there must be a way that she doesn't die. Maybe if we leave earlier. Or maybe if we... Um, maybe if we, we stop drinking earlier. She'll stop drinking with us. She may get angry at us and throw us out. Uh, or maybe it's just a case of, or maybe we should have told her to get off the island. But whatever it happens to be, um, I'm wondering is there a way that she wouldn't have died? Or is it a case of she's just going to die, it's how she's going to die? And then if we went with Emily, would she still have died? Hmm, interesting. But I really, I have to say, I really enjoyed that. And I really want to play the next bit now and I have to wait until it's going to be out. Ah. <laughs> okay, it's interesting. It says voice actors there, uh, BB Jacob, and it says Emma and Emily. Obviously, we know now that there's only like one of them. Obviously, she. Because they're twin sisters, she would be playing them. But I wonder if it is because that they that they did the credits for the whole thing, and therefore we're going to meet her sister um, in the future, or is it just to keep us guessing whether the person that we've been talking to is Emily or Emma? But that, that, this is a really good game. And it's great that it has great replayability. So, you know, it depends on how long it's going to take until the next one comes out. I know I'm going to replay it. 
but it's a case of am I going to replay it on the channel so if the next one comes out pretty soon then probably not if it's going to be a while before the next one comes out I probably will because um, as I said I had a ton of fun with that and I think you know I'd like to play again make different um, make different choices and stuff but yeah that that was a lot of fun and I guess that this series has come to an end I actually didn't expect it to end so soon I didn't realize how close we were to the the end the end of this part because I I sat down here fully expecting to play this for maybe about two hours before I went to bed uh, but you know got just under an hour and as I said a lot of fun and I'm kind of jonesing now already to play it again but I definitely recommend if you want to play it yourself get your hands on it and, and have a go and, uh, you know if you want to post down in the comments let me know what you thought about it uh, also without spoiling things but you know if you have speculation about what's going to happen or um, who killed who killed Elizabeth and that kind of thing uh, post away and what's going on with Emma and Emily is she telling the truth where the hell is her mother is her mother going to turn up with missing a hand yeah there's a lot of questions to, to go but um, I'm going to end here and if you have enjoyed please consider hitting that like button share with a friend or two on your favorite social media and I really hope to see all of you on another series goodbye thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did Maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.